Hello everyone, how are you? Today, we will study Access 6, page 74. It's Lesson 7E. First, let's review the homework from Lesson D. Did you finish your homework? Okay, let's start. Okay, in the homework from Lesson D, Exercise 2, you have to replace the underlined words with one referencing word. Referencing words. It means the object pronouns and the possessive adjectives. So, you can write his, her, their, its, them, him, me, or your. Which words are the object pronouns? Which are the possessive adjectives? Okay, I'll tell you. His, this is the possessive adjective. Her, this is a possessive adjective and an object pronoun. There, this is a possessive adjective. It's, this also is a possessive adjective. Okay, them, that is an object pronoun. Him, it too is an object pronoun. Me, again, object pronoun. And last, your, possessive adjective. Okay, so question A is Tom and Sarah's bikes are red. Well, Tom and Sarah, that's two people, and it has apostrophe S. Okay? If it has apostrophe S, you have to use a possessive adjective. So, A, the answer is there. So, the sentence is their bikes are red. Okay, question B. It's Samantha is my best friend. Samantha's hair is black. Okay, Samantha, this is a girl. What word is about a girl? It's her. Okay, so question B is her hair is black. Question C. Bananas are such a delicious fruit. We like bananas so much. Okay, so bananas are not a boy or a girl. To talk about bananas, we will use them the object pronoun them, because here is the subject, here is the verb, and after the verb is the object. So, we like them so much. Okay, D. My brother went to school late yesterday my brother's teacher was very angry with him. So, 
So, my brother is a boy, and it has apostrophe s, so we have to use the possessive adjective about a boy. That is here, his. So, D is his teacher was very angry. Okay, let's do question E. My name's John. I lost my friend's favorite CD last week. Today, he shouted at John. So, the friend is he shouted at John, and I am John. So, here is the subject, here is the verb, and here is the object. In E, the object should be me. Okay, I'm talking about me. There. Today he shouted at me. Okay, question F. Look at the really big fish. The fish's color is green, purple, and blue. In this sentence, we talk about the fish. The fish is an animal. To talk about animals, we use its. So, F is its color is green, purple, and blue. Okay, question G now. I don't enjoy any of Elvis Presley's music. I think I don't like Elvis Presley. So, Elvis Presley is a boy or a man, and to talk about a man with the object pronoun, we use him. I think I don't like him. Okay, and last question, H. The shoes, coat, and jacket of you are so beautiful. Here, H is your, but we can't write your here. It isn't the shoes, coat, and jackets. Your are so beautiful. We write your here. Like this. Your shoes, coat, and jacket are so beautiful. The possessive adjective goes before the nouns. Shoes, coat, and jacket. Okay, now we finished the homework. Now we will learn some activities vocabulary. There are seven activities today. Number one is paint. Again, paint. One more, paint. She is painting a picture. Okay, number two, it's watch a movie. Again, watch a movie. Can you say it? The woman and the man, they are watching a movie. Okay. Number three is play soccer. One more. Play soccer. Play soccer. The boys are playing soccer. Okay. Number four is talk. The boys are talking. 
Number five is cook. Cook. The man is cooking. Number six is dance. Dance. The woman is dancing. And last, number seven, it's listen to music. Listen to music. The girl is listening to music. Okay, now let's review. Number one, it's paint. Two, watch a movie. Three, play soccer. Four, talk. Five, cook. Six, dance. And seven, listen to music. What activity do you like? Can you remember all the activities? Let's try. Okay, are you ready? What activity is this? It's talk. Okay, next. What activity is this? It's play soccer. Okay, next one. What activity is this? It's dance. What activity is this? It's watch a movie. Okay. Last one. What activity is this? It's Listen to music. Okay. Here are some places in Ho Chi Minh City. Do you know them? What activities can you do there? Okay. Number one, what place is this? It's Bentan Market. What activity do you do there? I go shopping at Bentan Market. Okay, number two, what place is this? This is Bitexco, Bitexco Tower. What activity do you do here? I take pictures at Bitexco. Okay, number three. Here. What place is this? It's 
Landmark 81. What do you do at Landmark 81? Do you go shopping? Do you go skating? Okay. Number four. What place is this? This is Reunification Palace in Ho Chi Minh City. What activity do you do at Reunification Palace? And number five. What place is this? This is Notre Dame Cathedral in Ho Chi Minh City. Do you like this place? What activity do you do here? Okay, next we're going to do exercise three in your student books. This is about speaking. In exercise three, there are two boys. Their names are Bob and Tony. Bob and Tony are talking about the weekend. What did they do on the weekend? Weekend is Saturday and Sunday. Okay, now I will read the dialogue. Okay, Bob, how was your weekend? Tony, very boring. I stayed home. What about you? Bob, it was good. John called me and asked me to go to the movies with him. He wanted to see Dragonfly. Tony, did you like it? Bob, yes, it was great. We really enjoyed it. Okay, now, can you read the dialogue again and try to answer questions one, two, and three. Who are Bob and Tony? Two, which movie did Bob see? And three, did Bob like the movie? Okay, so you have two minutes. Read again and answer the questions. Okay, are you finished? Now, what are the answers for one, two, and three? So, who are Bob and Tony? The answer is, they are friends. Bob and Tony are friends. Okay, two, which movie did Bob see? They saw Dragonfly. Okay, the name of the movie is Dragonfly. And three, did Bob like the movie? It's yes. Yes, he did. Okay. Number two, the name is Dragonfly. Did Bob like the movie? Did you like it? Yes. 
Okay, now I want you to practice speaking. You can practice speaking by yourself or with your friend. You will talk about your weekend and what did you do on the weekend? And did you like it? Yes or no? Okay, so first, student A, you ask, how was your weekend? And B, you can say, very good or very boring. Then, say, I, say, one simple past activity. That means, the activities, for example, I listened to music, or I watched a movie, or I danced, or you can say, I played soccer, I talked, I painted, or I cooked, okay? So one simple past activity, it means cooked, talked, painted. Then, after, ask, what about you? So ask student A, what did he or she do? Student A, you can say, it was great, or it was bad. Then, I, simple past activity, talked, oh, I listened to music, I cooked. And then B, ask, did you like it? And A, you can say, yes, I did. I really enjoyed it, or no, I didn't. I didn't enjoy it. So, now I will give you an example. Okay, I'm A. How was your weekend? Very good. I cooked. What about you? It was great. I listened to music. Did you like it? Yes, I did. I really enjoyed it. Okay, now you practice speaking by yourself or with your friend. Okay, now we're going to do exercise five. It's about pronunciation of simple past regular verbs with ED. So, we studied seven different verbs today, and they are all regular verbs. It means in simple past, they have ED. So, the simple present is listen. The simple past, listened. Watch and watched. Dance and danced. Play and played. Talk and talked. Paint, painted, and cook, and cooked. Now, they all have 
E, D. And there are three ways to say E, D. Number one is T. Say it with me. T. Number two is D. D. And number three is id. Id. Okay? That's t, d, and id. Okay. Now, I want you to listen to six different verbs that are past symbol and write a check. If they are t, d, or it. Okay, are you ready? Number one is watched. Watched. Number two is wanted. Wanted. Number three is liked. Liked. Four is played. Played. Number five is stopped. Stopped. And number six is walked. Walked. Okay. So are they t, d, or it? Number one. Watched, watched. That is t, watched. Three, wanted, wanted. That is it. One, it, wanted. Three is liked, liked. It's t, liked. Number four is played, played. Here, ed makes the sound d, played. Okay, here. And number five is stopped, stopped. Here, ed makes the sound t, stopped. Okay. And last is walked, walked. The letters ed again make the sound t. Okay. Watched, wanted, liked, played, stopped, and walked. Okay, now we finished exercise five. Okay, now let's talk about the homework. Your homework has two exercises. In exercise one, you have to write five activities you do in the water, five activities you do at the park, five activities that are sports, and five activities you do in winter when it's cold and snowy. Okay, next, exercise two. It's the same as exercise two in the student book. Sorry, exercise five in the student book. Look at the verbs and check the correct pronunciation. Is it t, d, or id? And the verbs are look, dance, cook, listen, paint, and talk. Okay, so now the class is finished. Goodbye everyone, have a great day.